Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. This is Albert from TheGreatSetup.com and we'll talk about how to underclock your GPU or your graphics card using a third-party software or the MSI Afterburner. In order for you to get the software, all you need to do is go to this website or this link here and go to their downloads tab. You should then have the download afterburner options or link here and just follow the on-screen installation instructions and have everything installed. Your desktop should then uh, have the MSI Afterburner icon after the installation. So open that one and you should see the MSI Afterburner software or the user interface. So let's get started. But before we actually get to the point or the actual process of underclocking your GPU, let's talk about uh, the common reasons why people want to underclock their GPU. Starting off with the fact that in uh, the Western countries, especially during the uh, summer seasons, temperatures could rise up depending on the number of cases. But it should be around 5 to 10 uh, degrees Celsius. Other factors that might contribute to such increase in temperatures include a poor airflow inside the casing. Now looking at my MSI Afterburner here, you can see that my graphics card, which is the AMD Radeon HD 5700 series, is currently at 86 degrees Celsius. Now considering I'm in an idle state, uh, is a clear indication that I really need to replace my thermal paste and clear off my uh, case from dust so I could experience better temperature readings. Now, even if this is an MSI product, you can actually have, or it can actually recognize a number of GPUs or graphics cards. So you could have a uh, GeForce, a Zotac, or a Gig Gigabyte a graphics card, or even an ATI a graphics card, and you should have no problems about it detecting it. So. The MSI Afterburner user interface should be pretty much self-explanatory. On the left side you have the GPU clock speeds and below it is the RAM clock speeds. On the right uh, part of the uh, software is where you can see the temperature readings. Now here in the middle the only thing that uh, you need to worry or concern yourself about when it comes to over or uh, when it comes to underclocking your GPU is the core clock meter that you can see here. Okay, so all you need to do is adjust the meter according to your specific uh, adjustments and make sure you click on the apply button here. You can also save the settings according to the profile slot numbers. This could be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is actually helpful if you want to load a setting without a need to adjust the core clock uh, the core clock meter here. Also below here is the monetary window which should actually help you in terms of adjusting your uh, core clock uh, meter and see which uh, specific uh, adjustments is according to your needs. To actually see a better view of the uh, monetary window all you need to, to click all you need to do is click on the detach button here and you should and you should see everything from the G, GPU temperatures the DP the GPU usage the uh, CPU temperatures and even the page file usage here going back to the MSI afterburner user interface the thing is that you should worry about if you want to underclock your GPU is the core clock meter here so make sure you do the adjustments, click on the apply button to apply the changes and you should be good. Now in case you want to, in case you have messed up with the adjustments and you want to reset everything to its default settings, and there is a reset button here that should help you with that. The settings that you can see should give you a lot of things that you could actually play with. From the general tabs and for those of you who want to specifically undervolt your computer, checking these two 
should help you full have full, full control of the voltage of your GPU but uh, mind you if you don't know how to do this or if you have little to no understanding on how to undervolt your computer and I strongly suggest that you avoid having these checked because doing so could lead to a number of problems and even risking damaging your computer or your graphics card for good so unless you are well aware of what you're doing then I suggest you keep these unchecked also the user interface allows you to adjust a number of things such as the language the temperature format and the time format you can even adjust the skins of your MSI Afterburner as software. There are a number of options you can choose from. But for me, I'm good with the red uh, skin by Drerex Design. After you made your selection and adjustment, make sure you click on OK and you should have everything set. So remember that the core clock meter is the only thing that you need to worry when it comes to underclocking your GPU. And as always, don't forget to click on the apply just so you can see the adjustments made. So I hope this video clears up when it comes to the process of how to underclock your GPU. And make sure you share it with your friends who might find this video useful. And as always, game on and have a good day.